Hello and welcome to another uh, DCG tutorial. So today we're going to do uh, 2014 section C uh, question 4. So dynamic mechanisms. All right. So part A is a linkage question. So the graphic on the right shows a crank and slider mechanism in a steam engine. A sim similar link mechanism is shown in the line diagram format in figure C4 below. Crank OA, so here are your constraints now, they're written in the question, so it's very important to read the question thoroughly. The crank OA, which is 35 mil long, rotates at a constant speed in an anti-clockwise direction through 360, uh, about the point O. The link AB, which is 140 mil long, is pin jointed to the crank OA and is constrained to slide through the fixed point S. Okay, plot the load to the B for this movement. Okay, so first things first, draw the diagram that's given, nice simple line diagram. So I'm going to work on the centre of the page and to the left hand side because the locus is going to go over to the right. So OA is 35mm in radius. So this is point O the center of the crank and A is 30 degrees from O so this is point A S is 85 mil from the center over to the right so this is 85 mil over here and it is 15 mil straight up from that point, so 15 mil is here. That gives you point F. And if B is what we want, local point B is what you want. So join A to S lightly at first. And it said the distance from A to B was 140 mil. So I'm going to mark 140 on my compass and mark it from A in order to find B in that line. So this is point B. Now I'm just going to draw that all in strong just so we have a clear picture of what the link looks like, what the mechanism looks like. That's OA, a crank and then A joins to B and is going through point F. So read the question. All right. OA is your crank. So OA is rotating. It's rotating anti-clockwise. So it's rotating down this direction here. It's rotating about O. AB remains that length all the time. AB is always going to be 140 mil, and A will always AB will always have a point through go to point S. S is a pin joint there, so it's going to always go through S. S stays stationary. All right, so so let's do one full revolution. So it's traveling around OA. So if it's doing a revolution, we need to divide up OA to get a certain point. So divide up thirty sixty to figure out where those points are. So A will move along there and it move along at a constant speed, so it's going to move evenly to each one of these points. So that would be A1, A2, and so on. And back down then to where it began at point A. Okay, so instead of went 360, so it came all the way back down to A, right? So all we need to do is follow the same constraints from the original diagram, 
but just move our point down and on. So O now OA travels to A1. A1 is still joined to S. And the distance from A to B is always going to be that 140 mil. So that was my distance there from A to B, had it on my compass. So A now has moved down to A1. So by putting the pin to the compass at A1 and drawing an arc through my new line, I find point B1. And the locus of B is what we're looking for, so make sure you label as you go along because there's going to be a lot of lines. So I'm going to do one at a time. Next, A2. Get your compass. Mark your point. B2. If you do not mark your points as you go along, there's going to be a whole lot of lines that are going to get confusing. So you need to make sure that you mark to go along. Okay? Now, once you've found all your points, it's only a matter of joining them freehand lightly. Now, as the crank B moves up from B4 to B5, there's a big jump there, so, and a big jump there between 5 and 6. So, what you can do sometimes, you can put in a middle point then midway between uh, A5 and A6, find that point, do exactly the same, and it'll give you. A better freehand curve then. Alright, so I'll just show you what I mean there. So let's quickly just bisect that angle rather than putting in there. 15 degrees, same difference. So if I have the distance between A5 and A6, so let's put in, we call this. 5.5 and we do exactly the same thing as all the other points so join that to S get your length of 140 mark that from the 5.5 mark and here is B 5.5 Okay, so see, it gives you a little bit of a uh, better curve, but it doesn't matter. Once you find your point, you join them freehand lightly, and that is the locus point B. And that is the locus of point B as it travels along from, as A, the crank OA travels along, pushing it through point S. Okay, so that's the first part of the question done. Um, I'll go to the second part, the cam part, in a separate video. So, if that helps, leave a like. If not, leave a comment. Okay, thanks for watching. Good luck.